हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आई एम अंकित फोनी योर कंप्यूटर टीचर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास एट्थ द चैप्टर इज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इट्स फंक्शन एंड टाइप्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वॉन्ट टू गिव अ ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर वी ऑल नो दैट कंप्यूटर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर एंड बोथ हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर आर इंटर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर ओके इफ वन पार्ट इज मिसिंग देन वी कैन नॉट डू एनी वर्क इन कंप्यूटर एंड कंप्यूटर एक्ट एज एन एम टी बॉक्स ओके सो बोथ हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर आर इंपोर्टेंट फॉर वर्किंग इन कंप्यूटर ओके सो इन दिस सीरीज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज हार्डवेयर वट इज हार्डवेयर हार्डवेयर इज द फिजिकल कंपोनेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर विच वी कैन टच एंड सी एंड ऑल द इनपुट आउटपुट एंड स्टोरेज डिवाइसेज इवन सी पी यू कैबिनेट विच कंटेन मैनी इंटरनल कंपोनेंट लाइक मदर बोर्ड वीडियो कार्ड साउंड कार्ड एस एम पी एस मॉडर्म्स एंड लॉर्ड्स ऑफ स्लॉट्स आर प्रेजेंट देयर आर नोन एज हार्डवेयर वन मोर इम्पोर्टेंट हार्डवेयर कंपोनेंट इज स्मॉल सिलीकन चिप which is known as processor or microprocessor or in general we call that brain of computer and also known as cpu so cpu is the most important hardware component which process the input data and provides output for output screen the next part is software what is software software is the logical part of computer which we cannot touch or see and it is the set of programs that control all overall internal operations of computer and instructs the computer what to do and how to do so once again what is hardware hardware is the physical component of computer which we can touch and see whereas software is the logical part of computer which we cannot touch or see and it instructs the computer what to do and how to do next point is both hardware and software are interdependent because software stores and runs on hardware as well as hardware works because of software so that means both hardware and software are interdependent okay next point is types of software types of software so there are two types of software first one is application software and second is system software so first of all i will give a brief description about application software and uh, there will be the main focus in system software okay so what is application software that is the set of programs that are designed to perform some specific task some particular job okay for example ms word ms paint games ms powerpoint ms excel okay notepad photoshop etc so there are lots of application softwares are available nowadays okay so we can take the example of simple example of ms word so ms word has its own particular work it is used to create document okay ms paint is used for drawing purpose okay uh, again one more uh, ms powerpoint ms powerpoint is used to create presentation so each and every application software has its own particular task particular work okay the next type of software is system software system software is a collection of one or more programs that control overall operations activities and performance of a computer system there are 
so many system software available okay and one of them that is the most important that is operating system okay so operating system is a system software that provides an interface between computer system and users this software is a software which control overall operations activities and performance of a computer system okay so what is the meaning of interface interface means a medium of communication means uh, the user can understand uh, the uh, means the user can understand computer and the computer can understand all the commands all the input of uh, from user because of operating system so the meaning of interface is medium of communication computer understands user because of os and the user can understand computer because of os so in between there is the operating system that provides a platform for communication okay example of operating system windows dos linux unix mac os etc okay we can take the means we can say that operating system or os that is the uh, means uh, soul of computer that is the soul of computer if os is not there then we cannot do any work in the computer okay we can take the example of car if we have a car and driver is not there then that car can't move from one place to another place just like that if we have all things means hardware application softwares etc but not having the system software that means operating system then we cannot do any work in the computer system okay so once again what is operating system that is the type of system software which provides us an interface okay means we can understand the computer because of the operating system and it controls overall activities of the computer okay the next point is function next is features of os okay so the operating system perform so many functions the first function is processor management so it is the most important function of an os the os ensures that each process or application receives enough time from processor to function properly we all know that whatever input we are giving okay so that input is processed by the cpu okay so that is the job of operating system to assign any process any application any input to cpu for the processing okay so whenever we input something to computer then that is the responsibility of os to assign that input to cpu or processor for processing and also ensures that each process get enough time for processing from the cpu okay next point is memory and storage management okay so os manage the sharing of internal memory among the multiple applications we all know that whenever we are using any application whenever we are running any application that application first loaded from secondary storage into ram okay so os manages the sharing of ram among the multiple applications it also take care of the fact that one process should not consume the memory allocated to another process it ensure proper utilization of different types of memory next feature is file management computer system uses a lot of data that stored in secondary storage media that is the responsibility of operating system to keep 
ट्रैक ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग क्रिएशन डिलीशन ट्रांसफर कॉपी एंड स्टोरिंग ऑफ फाइल्स इन एन ऑर्गेनाइज मैनर इट प्रोवाइड्स अस द डायरेक्टरी स्ट्रक्चर फॉर स्टोरिंग फाइल्स नेक्स्ट फीचर इज डिवाइस मैनेजमेंट सो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन कंट्रोलिंग वेरियस इनपुट और आउटपुट डिवाइसेस इट रिसीव्स रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम इनपुट और आउटपुट डिवाइसेस एंड देन परफॉर्म द स्पेसिफिक टास्क ओके दैट्स व्हाई वी स्टेट दैट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हैंडल्स द इनपुट आउटपुट ऑपरेशंस ऑफ द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम सो वट एवर वी आर इनपुटिंग थ्रू द की बोर्ड वट एवर वी आर रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर द आउटपुट फ्रॉम फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रिंटर ओके सो दैट इज द जॉब ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टू मैनेज दीज ऑल रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम द यूजर ओके द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज सिक्योरिटी एंड प्रोटेक्शन द इनबिल्ट सिक्योरिटी मॉड्यूल्स सिक्योरिटी स्ट्रक्चर सिक्योरिटी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनी ओ एस प्रोटेक्ट द इंफॉर्मेशन स्टोर्ड ऑन अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम अगेंस्ट अनऑथराइज एक्सेस ओके मीन्स वी मीन्स अनऑथराइज एक्सेस कैन नॉट बी हैपन इन मीन इन कंप्यूटर सिस्टम बिकॉज द ओ एस प्रोवाइड सिक्योरिटी एंड प्रोटेक्शन मॉड्यूल्स ओके द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट द नेक्स्ट फीचर ऑफ ओ एस इज यूजर इंटरफेस सो यूजर इंटरफेस प्रोवाइड्स अस एन इंटरफेस और अ वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बाई विच वी कैन कम्युनिकेट और अंडरस्टैंड द कंप्यूटर ओके सो देयर आर टू टाइप ऑफ इंटरफेसिस प्रोवाइड्स बाई द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फर्स्ट वन इज सी यू आई करेक्टर यूजर इंटरफेस एंड द सेकेंड वन इज जी यू आई ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस ओके सो अबाउट सी यू आई एंड जी यू आई वी विल डिस्कस लेटर इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो ओके सो दीज ऑल आर द फीचर्स ऑफ ओ एस सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द नीड ऑफ यूजर्स there are several type of operating system available okay now we can see on the screen the first one is single user operating system okay so we can understand by the name single user and it is the initial version of the operating system that allowed only one user to work with the computer at a time okay means only one user can work at the time on the computer okay and example of single user os r ms dos ms windows 3.1 windows 95 etc so due to their limited features they are no longer in use nowadays the second type of operating system is multi user operating system okay so multi user means means that means more than one users can use the computer at the same time or at different time ओके एग्जांपल्स आर विंडोज 2000, विंडोज XP, विंडोज विस्टा विंडोज 7, विंडोज 8, लिनक्स यूनिक्स एटसेट्रा सो विंडोज 2000 वाज द फर्स्ट वर्जन ऑफ विंडोज व्हिच अलाउड क्रिएशन ऑफ सेवरल यूजर्स अकाउंट ऑन अ सिंगल मशीन ओके द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ ओएस इज मल्टी प्रोसेसर ओ ओके मल्टी प्रोसेसर मीन्स more than one cpus if are there okay and only one operating system is managing all those processors that is called multi processor os okay so it consists of several processors or cpu that share a physical memory all processors operate under single os okay so this is the important point here all processors means all cpus operate means uh, they are working okay under single operating system okay so execution of several tasks by different processors at the same time increases the system performance okay the next type of operating system is multitasking operating system okay so the meaning of multitasking 
is to perform more than one task at the same time okay so because of multitasking operating system we are able to perform more than one task at the same time in the computer system okay for example if we are typing something as well as we are surfing websites and listening the songs also so here you can see we are performing we are doing multiple tasks at the same time okay so it happens because of the multitasking operating system okay so the os which using only one cpu and perform multiple tasks or processes is called multitasking operating system examples are linux unix windows xp windows 7 windows 8 and windows 10 etc okay the next type of operating system is real time operating system and in short we can say rtos okay so this type of operating system is used to handle real life scenarios okay in real life problems uh, the main focus is there in time okay the meaning of time is response time so what is response time response time is the time between input and output okay so in real life scenarios we need the minimum response time for example if we take the example of robots okay so robots so whenever we the whenever the user gives command to robot the robot provides the output according to the given input quickly in very short time okay the response time should be very minimum okay so it is possible because of rtos okay so there are two type of rtos we can see in the uh, in the on the screen also example of real time operating system means where the real time operating system are used uh, robot spaceship weapon system etc okay so there are two type of rtos available first one is hard rtos and second one is soft rtos hard rtos so in this response time should be very minimum okay if the system did not perform within the deadline it is considered as a task failure okay example we can see air traffic control system missile aircraft etc okay so for example if you take the example of missile okay suppose uh, there is the time for launching the missile is only five seconds okay and if the system is taking more than five seconds for launching that missile then that missile launching considered as failure okay the task will be failure because the missile is not launched within the given time okay so rtos means hard rtos is where in in which the response time should be very minimum if within the deadline uh, the system did not perform that means that task will be fail the next one is soft rtos so in this time requirement is not very crucial if the system did not perform the task within deadline it is not considered as a task failure it will provides the re required output later okay and the example of soft rtos is multimedia streaming etc okay means in multimedia streaming soft rtos is used okay the meaning of multimedia streaming is whenever uh, we are uh, means watching something online okay so that take time for buffering so in in that system soft rtos is used okay the next the last one is distributed os distributed os means the os which runs on a set of computers that are located in different geographical areas interconnected by a network means all the computers all the computers all the machines are interconnected by a network and located in different geographical areas okay only the single os manages multiple processors in that in this scenario okay and multiple users can work from different different location using a single os so these all are the types of operating system okay so in the next video i will discuss about cui and gui okay that's all for today